Uh, that's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. In Afghanistan, when the Taliban allegedly were not allowing girls to go to school, it was all over the media. Celebs were speaking about it, people were even questioning Islam. But let us not forget that also in France, hijabs have been banned. <laughs> but no one batted an eye. No one plastered that all over the front page news. The celebrities didn't speak out about this and nor was secularism put under the microscope. And now in a latest tirade of countries just uh, being hypocrites frankly, India has also decided to ban the hijab in colleges. You may have seen images of Muslim women waiting at the gates of the college. Now this is happening in Karnataka and you can see them discussing, pleading, debating with their principal who is saying I've been given orders by the government and if I don't follow them I'm in trouble. So in other words he's being threatened by the government and some of the followers of the BJP, the current ruling party are saying nah they're going against the rules of the school but not really if you look at the rules Hijab is fine. According to the constitution, the hijab is fine. But now the girls are saying that wearing hijab is our constitutional right. But that's the thing with man-made law. It constantly changes based upon the whims and the desires of ignoramuses. So we all love to hear him and we are so proud of that, aren't we? we? So as you can see, the girls are refused entry. There is police presence. The government officials are getting involved. And the Western media, no one's questioning the Hindu principles, no one's questioning the secularism or quote unquote secularism principles. <laughs> no, 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 no. No one's talking about the rights of women to be educated. Me too, movement mate. Where's that gone? It's in hibernation. So in other words, the criteria of education in the likes of France and India has been whittled down to undressing. I mean what is this obsession with taking clothes of women? It is so perverted. You might be thinking yeah but you guys are putting clothes on. I mean you, I'm sorry but you just can't compare the two. If you've got a little child and you're taking clothes off there's a concern. If you're covering them up it's a different concern but not the concern of removing clothes. I mean why do I even have to explain this? And what's hair got to do with learning chemistry and maths? Despite all of this nonsense happening, much love to our sisters that are standing their ground, sitting outside the school and not budging. A lot of people sometimes, nah you gotta take it mate, whatever, the child will be coming soon so it's alright mate, oh, don't worry, we'll do it in the after- no 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 no. After life, after life. But in this world, you do whatever is in your power. Exhaust your means. Do your best, Allah will do the rest. Don't just take a half assed approach to something and say, yeah, yeah, God will do the rest. So here you can see there's loads of Malala Yusuf size. But because they're in an ally country of the West, you're not gonna see them on Time magazine and on talk show interviews and being paraded around. Nah it doesn't work like that. While all this was happening the BJP were losing brain cells with each Twitter post that they were presenting to us. The first one is this, TV channels supporting hijab must tell their anchors and panelists to appear in hijab. Hang on a minute mate, supporting a cause doesn't mean you have to adopt it mate. For example supporting women's rights doesn't mean you have to put on lipstick and a dress. And supporting animal rights doesn't mean you have to eat dog food, live in a kennel and bark all day. And then here's another Twitter post, this mug goes on to link wearing hijab to imposing Islamic law in India. What's the link here between covering your hair and establishing Islamic law? Oh my head. But anyway, this is the direction India is taking. And it's unfortunate because we used to hear documentaries that India and China will become the next superpower. I mean we want the best for India and China and these countries. Just leave the Muslims alone mate. Worry about your economy, worry about the health of your population, you know what I'm saying? Let's leave it there until next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.